Hi, this is Gloria and in this video I'm going to show you the method I use to paint hair. I will use a normal hard round brush and here you can see the brush presets. I have checked the smoothing and the shape dynamics where I have selected only the pen pressure. Everything else is 0% for me but you can play with this as much as you like. To work with the smudge tool, I have selected a soft round brush. As you can see here, this is for blending mostly. And the strand I have set it at 87%. The brush presets are going to be the same as the previous tool, as you can see here and here. This is our drawing and I'm going to focus in a small part of it otherwise we will be here forever drawing so what I'm going to do right now is to select uh, the area that we will use for this video with the lasso tool and yeah something like that and here I have my color palette I have chosen it already to speed things up a little bit and now we are going to just place our base color which is going to be the darkest color that we have here. Light will be on top so we will have highlights here and here. The method is very easy. You don't necessarily need a hairbrush but it is actually useful because it speeds things up and you can spend more time in other parts of your drawing. Still, I'm not going to use it yet because I would like first to show you how this method works. So yeah, let's keep going. We're going to pick the next color of our palette. The color that it is a bit lighter than the previous one. We reduce the opacity of our brush and we start. The plan is to add slowly layers of light and define different parts or pieces of hair. I will try to keep untouched those areas that should be darker. I will keep my shadows in place, like this area here for example. And then I will work in the rest, the rest of it. Now we are going to blend those lines softly to remove any any hard edge. We are using the smudge tool as I said and once we are done by blending all these lines we will add another layer of color. The key is to keep adding these layers lighter as they get closer of the highlight spots and to reduce the size of our brushes as we start drawing closer into the picture. We pick the next lighter color and we paint, of course, the next area, the lighter area. Try not to paint uh, any dark place with these colors or you will lose your shadows. And don't worry, there is not much texture yet. As we advance in the drawing, it will appear. Um, just just that, just try to keep giving form to your to your hair, trying to follow the shapes of the head, the natural fall of the of the hair itself. I'm gonna make this video go a bit faster so we can advance a bit more. And also I think I'm gonna just hide the drawing that is below, yep, so it's not as distracting. And well, we keep going, we keep adding lighter colors in lighter areas or areas where it's, it's meant to be lighter because there is more direct light. And we see that we need to fix any shadow in any part. We just simply go and pick the base color, the base color, sorry, and just fix those areas. Uh, we should clean a bit all the 
um, sides of our drawing, all the edges. And we can add single hairs here and there just to make it look a bit more realistic. Hair sometimes is a bit crazy even though it could be very organized. And then we add highlights and those spots that we, we talked earlier that the light will be just hidden directly. Um, yep, we pretty much keep going like that. Just now we are building texture a little bit. Just our brushes are much smaller than the begin than they were in the beginning. And this is how to do it. A simple way of of painting hair. If later you want to add secondary lights or other things that go a bit more complex, well, I think we will need another tutorial or something for that. But anyway, uh, right now I'm gonna use a, in this point. I think I'm gonna use a hairbrush that I have. This one, and just to speed up at the end. A little bit and show you how how would it work <clears throat> so as you can see it's much faster you will see it again later and now I'm gonna add a few thin uh, hairs just to give it a bit more of realism Mm, yep. Something like that. So this is the result of our method that we have been doing. And I hope uh, you like it and I hope it's useful for you. As I promised, I'm gonna show you how to make your own uh, hairbrush. Maybe you don't want to download it from somebody or you just would like to experiment yourself and do your own. So let's do it. We go back to our normal brush and we select black color, 100% opacity. And we use, always make sure we use a white background because the brush is going to save everything that is not white. So that, just remember that not to have accidents in the future, it's better to keep a white background. We come here, we're gonna start, I don't know, with one dot, oops. Also remember to remove shape dynamics to do this. We make one dot, and then we just change the size of it, we change the opacity, we make another dot, and let's do them. Uh, here let's make several so we have several things around let's make this one smaller and a bit darker no not that much not that small more or less just to have an idea of what we're doing this is our brush now what we have to do as we have selected the normal brush we click edit and we find define brush preset. We select that and this window should pop out saying saving, sorry, the colors, the shapes that are in the background and giving you the option to write down a name which we're not gonna do right now. And that's it. We've got your basic brush. Let's make it a bit smaller. See, the problem is that it's it works this way. It doesn't go making lines, which is the point of our of our thing anyway. So we sorry, we go here to the brush presets. We click brush presets and we click brush tip shape. We are going to remove the space between all these dots just by touching just by moving down this arrow that 
select the spacing. If you wanted it them more spaces between them, you would just use it and do the opposite. But it's not the case. Uh, we don't really need to to play with this right now. So now we go to shape dynamics. Make sure it's the pen pressure is on, and you can play around with the tools that are. Can, uh, are available. You can just go and experiment your own. If you want, you can lock it so nothing is gonna happen. You're not gonna accidentally remove the what you have selected. We have a smoothing here too, and we go for the transfer. This makes sure it's selected also pen pressure, and that's pretty much it. That should be now when we go our hair is gonna do something like this. We can just go smaller or bigger. And now to save this uh, this brush we come here, we click in this little window and this this window will come giving us the option to put a name which will be Hair one. Okay, and here it is, our super brush. If you want to find it, it will appear here in the last spot of your brushes. You can remove this one, which is the previous one, just by right click and delete. And here it will be your brush every time you need it. So let's keep going. If we go back to our drawing, we could just go and just start again with the other side. I wouldn't. See, for some example, just start again with big brush, dark color, and then go thinner as we go closer and lighter. Same thing as we have been doing in the previous steps. As you see, yes, you do get a lot faster. And then blending. Let's go back to this one and slowly get a new black from here. And um, light, lighter colors. And blending. But as you can see, it's just as we have been doing before, just faster. way faster and well that's pretty much it you can keep going with highlights and I do suggest you that you use uh, just a simple flat, plain, normal, hard round brush for the details for the single hairs around like if you wanna do, I don't know, something like that, a hair coming out or some things just to give it a bit more of realism more realism, sorry you just go with this one and do a few of them and that's it, thank you for watching I hope this helped somebody and that's it Ta-da!